Yo guys, Mike for SimRacing604, and I wanted to do a very quick video about something Reza Studios casually mentioned in their December 2022 development roadmap that you may have missed, but could set the stage for increased longevity of the title and expanding its reach. The focus of most people when a development roadmap is released is the new content, and Reza's December update seems to follow this trend. We'll get nine new cars and a bunch of new tracks in the coming days, and that's what's generating the buzz, but scroll to the bottom and you'll see some interesting notes about modding. Yes, most sim racers are aware that AMS2 supports mods and we even had a major mod team release their first mod for the title this year, but the overall quantity of mods available is still tiny. There is a number of reasons for this, not least that the process for consumers to install them is comparatively complicated next to Assetto Corsa or R Factor 2 or even Automobilista 1. But Reza is trying to smooth this process, saying in their development update, quote, because the game was not designed as a modding platform, both creating and installing mods for AMS2 is a somewhat cumbersome process, and while it's unlikely it will ever be as smooth as other platforms designed for that purpose, we are looking into some achievable measures to try and at least reduce some of those difficulties, and also plan on offering some resources and information for serious modding teams looking to bring their scratch-made content to the sim. We will also soon offer an AMS2 modding sub-forum for users to share info and resources for modding in AMS2. So what does this mean exactly? Well, no one's really sure whether this makes installing mods somewhat of a drag and drop process or whether there'll be a separate executable file to install them automatically or something else entirely still remains to be seen. Now, I wouldn't say absence of content is a gripe with AMS2. In fact, I would put the stock content of AMS2 up against any racing title I own, but still a positive step in my opinion. This could open the door to a much needed roster expansion in the GT3 category, for example. Maybe modern IndyCar, if the licensing situation never improves, could get a mod, or at least conversions of some of the best of the thousands of mods currently on offer for Assetto Corsa. Modding in AC has been a huge part of my sim racing experience, and it's great to see Reza embrace the subculture in their title, let's hope these are just the first steps in a long and expansive journey for modding in Automobilista 2. Leave me a comment below and let me know if there's certain mods you'd like to see added to the title or what you think of modding overall as a possibility for the future of Automobilista 2. Thank you for watching.